Hi and welcome to High Density. Today we're going to be talking about embedded computing. We've got a special guest on the show, Armin Hamel, here from the Netherlands. Ramon is going to be taking care of most of the questions, so I'll kind of sit back and shut up for a change. We're going to move straight into it. Ramon, here you go. Okay, thank you. Well, first question, what is embedded computing? Can you give us a few examples? Well, if you just look around, you will see tons of examples. A lot of um, devices, that you, a lot of products that you don't think of, that would be a computer, actually contain a computer, like your watch that you're not wearing. <laughs> or that video camera. Okay, or my phone. Or, that's some, or your phone. Here, that's I have a phone, this thing. Yeah. Or lots of new cars. They also contain a lot of embedded computing. Many people don't know that. Okay, where in a car would you find the computer? Uh, mostly in the tuning system. You, you know that you can go to a garage and have the fuel injection uh, optimized for several... Yeah. For, for example, I want to be on a German highway and, and just drive around like crazy. You could op optimize for that. And the fuel injection system is basically reprogrammed like a computer. Because it is a okay. computer. So all you need to do is just tweak the software that is on there and your well, car maybe, will be different. Maybe just tweak whatever system is in there. But it is embedded computing. Okay. Well, let's... I got a question. Here. I got a question. Go. I got a question. It's kind of related to this. Embedded computing... <laughs> well, of course it is. It's not about something else. No. I could talk about turnips, but I'm not going to. I want to talk about embedded computing. <laughs> First of all, uh, my question, please answer. Embedded computing how much of a factor is it in computing as a total? So, you know, you're talking about it being in many little devices around the place. Does that mean we are completely surrounded by embedded computers? Yes, actually we are. Just look at the amount of mobile phones, which actually are all embedded computers. Uh, right now in the UK, the Netherlands, Ireland, and I think in Germany as well, there are more mobile telephones than people. But I don't think you have that many PCs. And so it, and, and everyone is wearing, wearing watches, digital watches. I think it's uh, probably, well, it's 80, 90% of the market is just embedded and it's growing. Okay, in total numbers, it, is it also bigger I wouldn't bigger know, but it's really big. Oh, okay. And is, is it going to grow? What, what's oh, the definitely. future going to look like? The, fu the future, I think, is that um, if you just look at personal computers, I think they will just kind of fade to the background. And a lot of tasks that you and that you would do right now on your computer will just shift to specialized devices, which you will which will go unnoticed. Okay. Well, is that something like, uh, for example, what you see on, on these game consoles, in the modern game game consoles? They also play movies, etc. And, and yeah, they exactly. Let you download stuff. Exactly. You just turn on the device and it works, and hey, everybody's happy. Okay. So, do you think that the PC as, as an all-purpose device is just going to disappear, really disappear? Is it just going to split up into hundreds of little specialized devices that you'll have around your house? I think so, and actually I do hope so, because it makes, it, it makes everything just a part of your daily life, your modern life. And you don't have to think about your computer anymore, it's just there. I got one. Okay. <laughs> I got one. Please. Now, this is a follow-up to that. Um, if, if we split off the general purpose computing into specialized embedded devices, are we going to see a point where all of these devices will be networked together in one of those futuristic house thingies? Like Bill Gates, I believe, has wired his house into some bizarre network world. Is that the type of future we're actually facing, or is that a complete pipe dream of sci-fi fantasists? <laughs> well, first of all, it has been. this has been... Um, People say this will be the near fu future, and they've been saying that for 15 years or so. But I think it will will be happening. Um, you will. There are already convergence movements going where you could use your mobile on your local network inside your house, and more services and devices will be integrated into little devices with which you could control everything in your house. And doesn't matter from where you do it. And, what you do and everything will just talk to each other but no no fridge which will automatically order milk that won't happen how how about cheese well if you leave the milk in there it will eventually turn to cheese right <laughs> okay 
Yeah, so we're going towards a world without all-purpose devices and with specialized... I think there will still always be all-purpose devices, but they would maybe they would be for for the people who make the specialized devices. Could be. Mm, okay. Or like the tinkerers and the people who just like to tinker. Cool. Are we supposed to be afraid? Yeah. Should we? Should we be afraid? Yeah. When are they going to turn into HAL from 2001? Imagine my mobile phone gangs up with my fridge and they, they come after me. <laughs> Sad picture indeed. I think we should always be on the watch out for uh, things like that happening. And even though they are really exciting, it never hurts to check and try to be in control. But the doom scenarios like the fridge taking over your house and setting your bed on fire? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that will be something for indie, for indie cinema. Hey, I'm not giving any guarantees there. But there's a, there's a good chance I don't need to fear the fridge. It might be the shower. <laughs> 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 All right. Will we wrap up on that note? Yeah, I think so. Thank you very much for being on the show and for watch out for the shower <laughs> <laughs> and the fridge <laughs> and my mobile phone. <laughs> Only Shane's mobile phone. So. The others are friendly. Mm. Not so dangerous. Did you see it? It has holes in it.